First week of May, I went to the Renaissance Fair for the first time for my friend Charlotte's birthday. I was trying to emulate a fairy. I've had a few of my friends go in the past, but I didn't really fully know what to expect. I had seen videos on TikTok that honestly really pushed the pleasure fair narrative. I'm not sure if this is the fair in Los Angeles, but there was some woman that like went viral on TikTok for the things that she would say pouring cider or any sort of beverage into your mouth while you're holding shackles. And there was a little bit of that, but it was also definitely very family friendly. There were so many babies and kids in strollers. So it kind of had like Disney vibes more than like adult experience vibes, but it was so much fun. There's so many different activities. That's good stuff. That's pretty good, good you guys. Oh, wow. oh my God. <laughs> Loved all of the different carnival-like rides. I also just really enjoyed dressing up. That was one of the most fun parts for me. A Coachella of its own. Cloakchella. <laughs> Cloakchella. That's good, babe. It has been a very wild 24 hours. Two days ago, my team sent over an audition that I needed to submit by the morning, and so I taped it that night. Yesterday, I found out that I got it, and then this morning, I triple confirm got it approved by the studio, the network. Very exciting. So exciting. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and my first day is tomorrow. So right now I am taking off my gel nails. I believe today I'm gonna have to go in later for a fitting and I'm just really freaking excited. <laughs> On my way to set. This month we also booked a trip to New York City for six days. When packing for any sort of trip, I love to use these like clear zipper pouches and I dedicate them for different things. My health and wellness pouch. This might seem a bit ridiculous, but I am always bringing matcha wherever I go. You just never know where is going to have good matcha. So I like to bring powder, a teaspoon with me, monk fruit sweetener drops. That alone, I'm good to go. I can have a matcha Americano. Obviously I'm always bringing my multivitamins. These are the Ritual Essential for Women Multivitamin 18 Plus. I've been taking these for years, 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 years. The easiest way to prioritize my health, taking two of these every single morning. Essential for Women 18 Plus is a clean, high quality multivitamin for women 18 to 49 to help fill key nutrient gaps in the diet. I know I am not checking all my boxes based on just like the food that I'm eating every single day. You know what I mean? These vitamins are made traceable, meaning you know exactly what's going into your body. I am one that likes to peruse on websites and check the facts, you know what I mean? And Ritual publicly lists the sources, suppliers, and studies behind its key ingredients. That just makes me feel confident and reassured. Another reason I've been taking Ritual for years is the delayed release capsule design. That means that it's shown to dissolve later in the small intestine, which is actually the optimal environment for nutrient absorption. These capsules are also designed to be gentle on the stomach, meaning you can take them whenever. You can take them with food, you can take them without food. You only take two a day. They're essenced with mint, which I also really love for the mornings. I personally take these in the morning. If you guys want 25% off of your first order, I will have the link down below, ritual.com slash Claudia Slewski. Make sure to use my code, which is Claudia Slewski. If there's any reason you don't like Ritual within the first 30 days, your order is on them. Again, I will have everything down below, but thank you Ritual for sponsoring this portion of today's video. I have been taking these every single day for years. How cool is that? Like just thank you. <laughs> Lastly, I like to toss some electrolyte powder packets. So important to hydrate when you're traveling. These are all of the must-have essentials. I usually end up tossing more things in here like my birth control and anything else that I randomly sporadically think I need and will not survive without <laughs> from my kitchen. But to have these like little zipper pouches and be able to bring this on the airplane, have it with me the entire trip, absolutely essential. Headed to New York. Obviously the album came out, it's 
perfect. It's been pretty much exclusively the only thing I've been listening to this month. Billy held two different listening parties in New York and Los Angeles, which was the main reason we were out there. And Phineas and I just love going to New York around this time of year. And so we extended our trip to be able to see some friends. Looking for allergy medication. Phineas has helped me discover that I have, have allergies. allergies. <laughs> Seasonal allergies. So he's helping me pick out Sorry. medication. Today's been our first full day and Phineas and I did a little bit of shopping. These are Molly Goddard and they're kind of crazy, but they're really, really comfortable. I also found this Paloma wool set. Here's what the pants look like. The top really sold me. I feel like these will obviously be great to wear as a set, but also just on their own. The pattern is cool. This is actually my first Paloma wool item, I believe. The Top American Idols Tour 2002. I love it. These t-shirts were from Beacon's Closet. I just saw a big fish. Lexi was in town, we got dinner with Chris. We also got to celebrate Sabrina's birthday, which was very, very sweet. It turned into a long night of karaoke. I'm curious what your guys' karaoke songs are. Um, I like to always throw out a little Santa Claus is coming to town. <laughs> it, always, it shocks the masses, no one ever sees it coming. The further you are from the holiday season, the more it slaps. We found a running store out here that specifically sells sneakers and clothing meant for running. There was like this scanning machine that you stand on and there's like 360 cameras that capture your foot. Based on those results, they can recommend you like certain running sneakers, which is so cool. I feel like I've never done something like that before. I've always just purchased sneakers that look cute and i'm usually buying them online so this was quite the opposite experience and it was wild how much we both just knew exactly like which pair we liked most and then from there we tried on different inserts i've never in my life purchased an insert so this morning we ran like a mile and a half and it felt really good brought me back to my pe days for sure cardio is really the one area that i'm not hitting as well as i'd like to i mean we do a ton of dog walks but honestly everything else is like calisthenics or strength. Maybe I'm gonna turn into a runner. Maybe that's what 2024 has in store for me. <laughs> right now I am just hanging out. I haven't really had a lot of solo downtime during this trip and so this is kind of my first day. I've just been able to like work on the computer for the last hour. I've just been like doodling different like cycler packaging sketches on my iPad and we're vibing. We're so I think we might go climbing today. Nice, babe.
You gonna be holding this all night? Yeah. Do you think your arms are gonna get tired? Oh yeah. <laughs> How many pounds do you think it is? This feels like it's my 20 pounds. 20 like pounds, that. yeah. Maybe even less. After the first listening party in New York, we packed up that night, flew out the next morning to make it in time for the Los Angeles listening party at the Forum. Back in LA tonight. Back in LA. Iconic feet. Diva. She's a diva. Both nights were long and late and so much fun in New York. It was at the Berkeley Center, and so we were able to like play basketball in the practice room until 1 or 2 a.m. or something. And the second night, the after party was just so much fun. There was so much dancing, and it was very sweet and wholesome. I, I was walking out one evening I'm literally sobbing from the wind. <laughs> Subscribers, sound off in the comments if any of you cry every time you're outside because I have to know. Uh, is it allergies or is it just wind? Or is it just like sensitive eyes? I think it's just sensitive eyes. This is like, you guys, I can't even keep my eyes open. Is it good? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is so fucking good. No, but close your close mouth your so mouth, it goes yeah. wider. Yeah, absolutely. Pull, pull, pull. Absolutely. Now walk slowly. <laughs> Went to the farmer's market quite a few times this month. I am so excited for stone fruit season. They're starting to sell peaches and apricots. There's one stand that we always go to called Harry's Berries and they sell the sweetest, most flavorful strawberries. So we are always picking up multiple packages of those. Leona's Fresh Pasta is another one to look out for in Los Angeles. I actually filmed the night that we used one of our Leona's pastas and it was so delicious. What are we doing? We're vlogging. We're vlogging. No, this is um, this is real life. This is authentic. We we wanted to do this, and then Claudia turned whipped out the damn yeah. camera. This wasn't contrived. We didn't decide we were gonna do. No, like, no, that's not that's not our. It's actually here. never how Claudia has operated. No. These are Moose is like get me out of here. I haven't eaten yet. Oh, he hasn't. No, because I wanted to do this first because he needs time to chill. Yes, I understand. I'm gonna put the camera down and help you. There's more. There's two of us. Unless. If anything, I drink. Oh, should we address the rat thing? What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's the rat thing? Yeah, stop commenting that we're a thruple with rat. <laughs> we're not. We just love him. I don't know. It's like the perfect. It's the perfect amount. Yeah, I don't want it. anymore. This is also like. Making pasta from Health Nut. This looks very, very delicious. Routine. Routine. surprise I climbed a bunch this month there was one climb that I worked on for two days it was the pink v4 and it was so so scary at one point that is probably the climb that I am proudest Sometimes 
sometimes I just get mental blocks when I climb and some days just feel scarier than others. I also did take some big breaks in between some of my climbs and your skin, like the calluses around your fingers, your palms, it resets so quickly. So when you take like two weeks off, you're kind of back to zero and it just, it just tears at your skin. It hurts your fingers so bad. But I completed a lot of great climbs. matcha go down the wrong pipe so I had a whole coughing fit just now I've got some mail to go through I thought I would do a little PR unboxing this first package is from way it's a collaboration with way and tower 28 cutie little surfboard this collab is really that beach they made a st. Bart's lip jelly which is one of Way's scents and this is like a very iconic product of tower 28 mm. I really really love these glosses Oh, we've got some blushes, which I've actually been meaning to try new ones. I'm just not loving anything that I'm currently using. Oh boy. I will definitely be handing some of these out to my friends because no one needs this many blushes. I bet I will love this one. Let's see. It's got that marble pattern to it. Wow, very pigmented. Thank you, Kosas. I'm so excited to try these. Make Beauty. I've been so excited to try these. New flavors of the Lip Reset Mask. Mystic Mint. Hi. Vanilla Veil. Cosmic Cherry. I'm gonna do the mint. Mm. This packaging is so cute. Orabella is Bella Hadid's brand. They are water-based fragrances with essential oils. I may have already smelled these because I got too excited. Window to Soul. This packaging is so insane. A faceted rose in jasmine bouquet with accents of fresh lemon to bring out the green neutrality contrasted with addictive tonka bean. This one just smells like a bouquet of flowers, like very fresh, very light. It's very feminine, but not in like a sweet vanilla sort of way, just in like a soft, feminine, romantic way. Salted Muse. This is definitely the most masculine scent. Woody Marine, a vibrant introduction of sea salt and pink pepper with an olive tree accord, plus a lavender twist at the heart. Finished with a dynamic association of woods and crisp amber. Yeah, very beachy and woody and peppery. I wore this one yesterday, so I today I want to try out the third one, which is Blooming Fire. Okay, so this is a warm floral. It's got exotic patchouli in it, radiant bergamot. Mm. This really reminds me of something. Very vacation, very tropical. All three are such beautiful scents. I love that you have to shake it to activate it. So cool, so inventive, so different. Thank you, Aurabella, for making my dining room smell incredible. Package from Say Beauty. What is going on here? Cute little beach bag, oh my gosh. Do bronze, soft focus liquid bronzer. Oh my God. I've got some on my hand. This is, I genuinely cannot see what I'm doing right now. How's it looking? <laughs> Let's do some on the forehead. Thanks so much, Say Beauty. I'm so excited to play around with that. Last but not least, we've got Road. Or maybe it's a skincare set? Let's see. <gasps> oh, dude. This is like Christmas morning. We've got the cleanser, the glazing milk, peptide glazing fluid, barrier restore cream. Genuinely obsessed with every single product from Rogue. I'm so excited for the blushes whenever those come out. I have so much shit to clean up now. I am like 
surrounded by boxes. New piece of furniture alert. This record player stand has been in the making for almost a year, I would say. Entirely led by Phineas, this was his idea. It's so perfectly built for this space and I like that this mirror has like a semi-circle fogged component to it because it bounces off and kind of like diffuses the light of the record player in a really fun way. Also the bottom right here, it curves in and makes the piece kind of look like it's floating and I think it also helps visually to not look too bulky and big for the space. All of the wires and electrical components are just hiding in this cabinet. This is so, oh my God, it's so sick here. Let me turn it on for you guys. The colors change. It's always two different colors going and they slowly change over time and turn into pinks and purples and yellows and blues and greens. Anytime I walk into anyone's home and they have something like custom made for the space, I feel like you can just tell. And this thing just like, belongs here, you know? Very cool, very adult, very proud of Phineas and his taste. He has such good taste. As you guys know, I love to have fun with the intros of these videos. It's always the thing that I leave until the very last moment because oftentimes it'll be some version of like a montage where I'm taking all of the clips from the video and giving you guys like a little teaser or sometimes it's exclusively like its own thing and I just film something for it. This video's intro is definitely very short and simple but the times when, and I idea just comes super quick for me and the execution feels just as fast. It's really exciting. And that was definitely this video's case. Listen, it's not perfect, but I definitely was stoked on how realistic I made it look and like how easy it was. For those of you that are into editing, I'm going to show you guys what I did because it was actually really, really easy. I filmed two clips. This one of me laying on the ground and one of the sky. I wanted to add an airplane, so I just pulled a photo from Google Images. <laughs> Using preview and the tools on here, I just took one of them out, turned it into a PNG, added that in. To make it a little bit more realistic, I added a blur to it as well as a slight earthquake shake so that it looked like it was kind of vibrating giving it some life. And then also I darkened it a little bit. That's the darkening I did. And that is like the subtle blur that I did. To add the letters, I positioned the plane to its final point. I took a screenshot of this and I sent it to my iPad. I kind of estimated like the trail cause I made it a little bit curved on Final Cut and gave myself kind of like a midpoint and drew out May 2024 in red and then added a new layer and that was the white marks that I made. The most dots I added were five and I was able to draw things out based on just using five dashes in their respective places. To export it, I took out the background and the red lines and imported this into the computer. And if you zoom all the way in, I used kind of like a cloudy-like pencil as well. I believe it was cotton in the organic section. I made it a little bit translucent. I also added a directional blur so that it just blurred kind of sideways. One might think that I used the wipe transition, but I actually thought it was more accurate to just use the crop effect right here. And I'm forgetting what this is called, but based on like the timeline, you can change the crop of it as you can see, and I just kind of, every few milliseconds, I adjusted where the crop line went to follow right behind the plane. I had this other shot of the sky where I pick up my camera, and so I decided to add the lettering right here and flip it upside down. I sandwiched that PNG in between the same clip because I wanted my fingers to go over the lettering. It pretty much stays behind my hand and the way that I do that is this clip. I added green screen keyer and you basically just like do your best to color key your hand and then you just kind of like adjust it a little bit so that it looks realistic and yeah. Oh my God, my hair is crazy. What is going on? I know that that was literally like a 10 second intro but this is like what I love. These are the moments where I feel like I am getting to use my creativity and cleverness with Final Cut and Procreate and all this stuff just to make something that's like a little bit more elevated, you know? Editing hacks. Those are all the memories that I recorded for the month of May. I love you guys very, very much. And I'll see you guys next month. Bye. <laughs>